on everybody, this is Jesse Lozano from Nerd With Balls and I'm here to talk about Terminator Genesis. This is how I look at it, T-800, badass still. Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the motherfucking building holding it down. It's crazy. The moment it starts, it's action packed and everything's just all fucked up. The visual effects were amazing on it and I really, really liked where they went with the storyline. So now, you can see why John Connor was so huge in the Resistance. They show a little bit of his history, and some people call him a prophet and all these other names, because he's always right and he knows the calculations of what they're going to do. So he actually confides in Reese, and Reese is there like, you know, how do you always know that? And he just pretty much said, you know, my mom told me all that. She told me everything was going to happen. So, I cheated. Boom. Fucking A. That's where you really see him go to the top, because he knew what it was. But at the same time, he actually went to their lair and was like, fuck you guys, let's go over. They have this huge machine that we can use to our resources, but it's their last play in this game of chess. And what the fuck was it? It was time travel. So now you can see when they sent the T-800 and they sent Reese, why? They were right behind each other. Back and forth. Boom, boom. So now, they actually throw it in, and Reese comes, you have T-800, T-800, everything. The scenario's all back. You got the punkers, you know, nothing's clean. Uh, you got Reese rolling around, stealing his pants from fucking homeless dude, running in the store, getting the old school fucking Nikes. Uh, I, to me, I thought it was genius, but then boom, here comes Sarah Connor, you know, he's here to try to save her and try to take everything out. How about the resistance? But no, she's actually there to help him. It was like, hold up, story has changed. We're going to do a little different. So now this journey, Reese is trying to figure out what's real, what's not. He's going up against the T-1000 and he's just like, what the fuck? And then he sees Arnold Schwarzenegger, AKA the T-800, and he's like, holy shit, we got to kill it. But. It's not the Arnold Schwarzenegger we knew from the 80s. He's older, so because of the cell molecules, they're actually disintegrating just like any other buddy's humans in time. So he's actually getting older, so that, totally cool. Now you see Sarah Connor actually calling the T-800, AKA Arnold Schwarzenegger, Pops. So why did she call it Pops? Throughout the storyline, you kind of see it. So the T-800 was sent back to the past to Sarah Connor when she was nine years old. So what happened is Sarah actually puts it out that, you know, she's at her family boating area where they always kicked it. You know, mom was out there and the scenery, her and her dad were fishing. She looks at the mom, the mom's happy waving. And when that happens, boom, the house explodes, mom dies and the dad turns around. All she realizes is she's just surrounded by liquid. So there was a T-800 back then. And then you see Arnold Schwarzenegger actually protecting her. Now, this mythology of Terminators, and all these crazy things that are out there in the future, like they're not emotional. Well, you see that he actually starts to love her. Like he really does care for her. Um, there's an actual vivid photo that she drew of them as kids. So he had to wait for about 17 years because of the paradox of time travel. He sent them through, he couldn't do it because he's metal, he would get destroyed. So he just waited 17 years. And when she got back to his lair where she told him to be, she looks, all her favorite stuff's there. All the photos of her, um, all the photos that she actually drew of them together. Like, he really did love her, he really did protect her as a human would. So you see that different type of parallel. And that's something Reese isn't really just trying to understand. Like, he's just like, what the fuck? Like, it's a machine. But then he starts to realize, like, fuck, this was really her protector. This is the tricky part. John Connor, actually, when he's sending Reese and their little orb and time machine, he actually gets hit by a guy, and you see him actually sitting right in front of him, and you just see all this liquid going into him. It's like, what the fuck just happened? So Reese is freaking the fuck out, trying to protect John, but he's leaving. So he doesn't know if he dies or not. Well, now it comes to, I think it's like 2014, 2017. 2017 comes around, John Connor, Sarah's there, everybody's ready to rock and roll. They popped out of nowhere. Well, Reese is there too, but Reese's problem is they're like, hey, we had your fingerprints, but you're of a 12 year old boy. So he's now in his time period, but he's a kid. But Reese doesn't remember everything. He doesn't remember much, but he just has these weird little glimpses and things throughout time like that are just registering back to him. You know, he actually has one where a lady was actually pointing to his hand and just kind of showing him, just keep moving forward, keep going straight. And he's like, it was you, Sarah. And he had this weird infatuation or infatuation with Sarah. He was in love with her before she even came. John might have put that instilled in his head because he knew who he was. So when he comes in, he already knows what he feels. Well, you have the T-800, a.k.a. Pops, over here at Sarah, like, have you guys made it? Have you fucked yet? Have you put your seed in her fucking ass? She's like, no. I want to have a choice for once in my life. Well, I think she still sucked him off a few times, but, you know, hey, what are you going to do? It happens. She was a fucking baddie, too. I think she's from, uh, 
what's that uh, TV series? Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. Princessa, nice little piece of ass though, no joke. So now John Connor is actually a new prototype of a machine. They realized how to manipulate the cell genetics of a human into an actual Terminator, an actual machine. So John is waiting and he actually comes and he knows everything about them because there's still that human entity in him, but there's also this machine and he's just like, no dudes, they freed me. I see the bigger picture. We could do this together as a family. I'm not here to fight you guys. And he actually has the ability to sit here and turn them both into whatever he wants. So he's like, let's do this. Let's be a family guy. T-800 ain't having it. He's like, fuck you, bam. T-800 is having issues, like his hands glitching a lot. He's getting older. You know, one of the big things he says, I'm old, I'm just not obsolete. So throughout this whole thing, and it all escalates to one point where they actually realize if they go back in time in 19, uh, 19, 19, 1997, if they go back to 1997, they can actually stop it from ever launching. Remember Miles from fucking Judgment Day? Yeah, fucking prick son actually sits here with John Connor who has all this information about quantum physics and all this other crazy shit and he knows all these codes and has created all these different new designs and he didn't and was like, oh my god, it's remarkable. He's like the new great thing. Well, yeah, Miles comes around, should have fucking killed that idiot when he was a kid. Now with John Connor, they're actually making this shit and they're doing it and he has no idea he's being manipulated by John Connor and this machine in him. So, long story short, I give it a fucking nerd on. I give it a straight 10. You actually see John Connor be sent to another spot in time where he actually dies. So he's like, peace, fuck you, there's no cure for this, you can't do anything. And you see actually T-800 looks at Reese and is like, take care of Sarah. And you can see that, like he's ready to sacrifice, so you actually see them fighting. And this whole fucking atmosphere, this whole orb, this whole glow. And you see him just boom, everything. John can't get out, you see the T-800 just fucking thrown into liquid, and it's like half of his torso, boom. So they blow up Skynet, which they're calling Genesis, and it's pretty much just fucking Apple on crap. I'm serious. Everything from your tablets to your phones to technology, hospitals, cars, everything's connected. So the same way we fucking lost ourselves here, they're talking about how a fucking organization is going to be a conscious being of a machine and take over us. So fuck you and fuck you, Apple. I love you, though. But if you try to fucking take my life, I will fight. So now Reese and Sarah are together in a room as everything explodes they're like in a vault and they're like okay you know we got to get out of here they never fucked yet they still haven't put the p and the fucking v nah nothing yet and they actually realized that they did love each other some people believe that in this mythology it was all about destiny to an extent because you could create your own and that's what they saw but i was going to love you not because the world said it but because i felt it and that's something they really got to and they got they found a really big clarity on that but they're just in this room and he's just like whatever you want to tell me go ahead and he just tells her, you know, I love you before I ever got here. I knew who you were. I knew everything about you. You know, I've always loved you. She tells him the feelings is not. And what's crazy is, like, they're pretty much just ready. Like, all right, air's going to run out. We're going to die. And then, boom, you see a T-1000 fucking arm. Break the fucking locks. Door slams open. They're ready. Rock and roll. They're going to fucking pipe this motherfucker down like a bitch. And it's actually Arnold Schwarzenegger. T-800. He doesn't look so old anymore. And they're like, what happened? He's all, I got an upgrade. Let's get out of here. So, everything's great. And it goes back to that spark of destiny. You know, Reese had a lot of those memories I keep talking about. One of them was a kid was just telling him, you know, be ready to fight, be strong, all this other good shit. Well, actually, that was him from the future talking to his younger self when he was 12. So they wouldn't put that in there. Sarah actually just telling him to follow was a big point of their life because her father told her that. So that's how it actually concludes. But at the end, you start to realize that the virus of this whole thing was actually the consciousness and it made itself human back in the day and he's the one who actually attacked John. So he's the one who infected him. Well, this fuck is down here now. So he's this conscious being and just saying, you know, hey, I'm running the show, you know, fuck you, just, it's inevitable, I'm gonna win. Just stop. And Reese is like, fuck you, we're human. You ain't gonna back the fuck down. Sarah Connor, she's more emotional. She has more vibrancy. She's not fucking Linda Hamilton. That is fucking an ugly cunt. Have you seen that bitch? I swear to God, I'd rather suck that fucking gender, dude. It's fucking horrible, dude. Tantric. Because everything's destroyed. Everything's cool. Skynet's done. Finally, we could have peace. But at the end, you see an actual orb like the time shift or the time machine. 
and you get that little conscious motherfucker right there. I think he's some fucking dude from Doctor Who. Not the guy he's now, the one previous. Yeah, it's him. And he's just a hologram. Just fuck you, I'm hollow man. Fuck that guy. So, on a scale of 1 through 10, I get this fucking 10. I'd say to go get it. It's very emotional. Like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, actually, he made me, he made me tear up a little bit, a little bit. Just a little. I would say fucking do this, 110%. I give it our nerd on, everybody from NWB totally stamps on this. So go see Terminator Genesis. I give it a 1 through 10. Do it. Motherfucker, spoiler!